Like a scene from the beaches of Normandy, these service members make their way through obstacles under heavy fire using time-honored army movement techniques. Low crawl, high crawl, and a three to five second rush. But this training is a change of pace for these troops, most of them Air Force. We send the airplanes down range, you know, and then we come back and we reload them and we support it from that way. But I spent a lot of time uh, behind a desk and so we get to do the, uh, the firing and the running and the low crawling and all is, is pretty fun. But it's not all fun and games for these airmen. There are vital lessons being taught. Situational awareness and moving as a team. Typically we're moving as one individual and moving as a team and having the responsibility of being uh, in charge of those teams and getting them from one location to another. Joint force training benefits all the service members involved. It gives them the skills they need on the ever-changing battlefield and a better understanding of those they share their experiences with in theater. Well, a team cohesion, better unit experience with cross-level and joint operations, seeing how one service does it versus the uh, other service does it. The trainers at Fort Dix enforce a standard and use all available resources to provide that extra sense of realism. This is as real as you can possibly get it without having live bullets. The realism of the training and the sacrifice and effort of the service members brings out the realization that all our military branches serve one common goal in the one team, one fight mentality. That we all come together to provide the same mission and that is for the American people and defending our way of life and the freedoms that we have. For the 145 MPAD, I'm Army Sergeant Brian Allen.